Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome along to my shiny new YouTube channel dedicated to career mode series on FIFA. Now this first career mode series we're going to do is a little bit different to perhaps the other ones that you see out there and I'll explain why in a moment. But as this is a new channel, don't forget to subscribe to it and also if you do go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Now the reason this is a bit different is that I'm doing a road to retirement series which will see us take a player from his playing career through to the management side of things. Now the player that I've chosen is somebody that I really got on well with in the early stages of FIFA Ultimate Team and that is Fabio Quagliarella. Now this guy is an amazing finisher. If you didn't watch the trailer, uh, I would suggest going back and watching that because we've got a mixture of the goals that I've scored with him in the past and also some of his career goals as well. Now the reason why this is very different to the other series that you might find out there is that we're basically going to take Quagliarella from FIFA 17 all the way through to FIFA 20 and then use dynamic potential to help improve him and try to keep his career going for a little bit longer. Now this first game as we can see we were struggling to start with and Roma there getting a shot away early on. Quag here on the ball, knocks it inside, it's come back to Alvarez and he finds Quag Lillarella. Oh it's a decent effort there but he's been denied early on. Now this is the first game of the FIFA 17 cycle uh, in career mode so clearly there's plenty for me to learn. Uh, at making that step back into FIFA 17 but it wasn't long before we got a goal under our belt there and it was a decent one actually and we've been given a penalty by the looks of it here astonishing here from the referee because I don't believe that he's going to give him a red card as well Mario Rui is off so Roma down to 10 men don't think this angle will give us a... Ah, oh, he clips the back of Muriel as he went for the ball. Unfortunate there, but that gives Fabio the opportunity to step up and get his first goal. <laughs> and it's a cheeky one as the ball slides under the goalkeeper. Celebrations all round there for Fabio. And a quick replay of that penalty as we see the keeper diving over the top of it. Once more for good luck there, Fabio. Slotting that penalty away very nicely. As we move towards the end of the first half here, got the ball out on the left hand side. Uh, still trying to do FIFA 19 things there. Oh my god. Now that wasn't Fabio from a distant shot, but it was a fantastic goal against Roma, who are down to 10 men. We now lead 3 0. Great little ball into to the player there from Quag. Uh, but uh, we move out into the second half here. Fabio's managed to get his way through and he's been taken out in the process. Rudiger is going to go for an early bath too. It's Roma are down to nine men. And Fabio is asking the question, why did you need to make that tackle? I mean, he actually got the ball. He did get the ball, but clearly he got Fabio along with it. The referees decided that was enough to put him off for an early shower. And um, Roma here making some changes to try to uh, stiffen things up in their midfield. Okay, so it's another penalty here for Fabio. Can he repeat it? He can. This time he smashes it the same way, but a great result for him as we go 4-0 up in this game. Okay, just coming towards the end of the game here. Quag on the ball, holding it up nicely. Can he find a man? No, he's dispossessed, but that's it. We have rounded this game out 4-0, and that really does get this series off and running quite well as he goes off to grab the match ball. Okay, so we are going to simulate a number of matches here. I played the first game purely because uh, I wanted to get one on the board, but we will only play against teams where 
Fabio Quagliara has made his name. So these next few games here are just going to be simulated and we're going to attempt to obviously train him in the in-between time to stop his uh, decline because he is over the age of 30. We know, we all know how FIFA works. He will decline in terms of his statistics. So we are going to keep training him and only him to try to retain some of the stats over the course of the season. So Sampdoria here are facing off against Palermo. Palermo playing with a 3-4-3 formation and it's a 4-0 victory for, for Sampdoria there but uh, Quagliarella still not on the score sheet in the simulated games just yet. Facing off a bit against Pescara here and uh, Muriel getting himself on the score sheet as we go up against Genoa. One for Alvarez, oh, and Quag has picked up an injury there. And as we can see, that's some bad news because he's going to be out for four weeks. Uh, that means we won't be able to train him, uh, won't be able to get any game time. So I am literally just going to fast forward the calendar here uh, because we just want to get things out of the way. But we won't face off against Juventus, a former team that uh, Quagliola played for, as he did for Fiorentina. So there's two games that we are missing out on. Uh, in terms of playtime. As he returns from injury here we can see that we can get things back underway and the first game is against Sassalou so we will not play him here um, because he's still slightly unfit and, and Cassano has taken his place instead. Muriel getting himself on the score sheet. As we head out to the next game uh, of the episode and that will be against Torino at home for Sampdoria. Some defending going on there as Torino blaze one over the top with 15 minutes gone on the clock. More pressure from Torino here, lots of defending having to be taking place and it's a bit amateurish as they get their shot away and it just drifts over the top again after the 22nd minute. 26 minutes in here, Fabio's managed to pick the ball up out on the wide left hand side, puts uh, his man in, finds some space on the edge of the box Alvarez turns, scores, and that puts us 1-0 ahead against Torino. There's a bit of a team effort there, lots of passing and moving going on. Quagliarella was uh, trying to dart his way back into the box, skips past him a couple of times uh, en route to Alvarez, who just manages to guide that ball home. Torino here, getting themselves away down the wing. Can't get the tackle in. Needs a decent cross. Now he cuts back inside. Looks for his man. Decent shot. Keeper manages to parry it and parries it for a second attempt. But it's still with Torino. Can they do anything with this? Get it into the box. We managed to get that away. But it was a pressure situation there from Torino. who we were clearly eager to get themselves on the score sheet. And we're into the 90th minute here, into time added on. And that's it, we managed to stave off the attack from uh, the, the team there, and uh, Torino, uh, and managed to get the result in the end. Moving on into that next game, it's a 1-1 against Lazio, as we move into another sim game against Chievo. Uh, Quagliara has dropped to the bench here just because of fitness level. Uh, Fernandez gets himself on the score sheet, but Quag did come on. As we move out to the third played game of the episode and it's facing off against Udinese this time. We're managing to, uh, to do some nice interplay here. Poor defending and they get themselves on the score sheet straight away. Zapata with the goal. Shushing the crowd there Zapata. It was some terrible defending, if I'm honest. But he had to finish it, and he did that well. Ball roll there, into Lanetti. Quagliarella's in the box. Oh, unlucky. He did roll the ball backwards just before trying to attempt to take that shot. Takes it on the spin turn and nearly catches the keeper out. 
just before half time here, time added on. Down the wing, knocks it into the box, back out to Fernandez. Oh, he did try the finesse there from the edge of the box, but the keeper was uh, managing to get his hand to it. Building up play here from the back. Fernandez bringing the ball forward. It's a lovely lit chipped through ball there to Muriel. Can he find Quagliarella? He can. Oh, the most deft of finishes there from Fabio. And he's got us back one all. That is a fantastic goal there. Great ball over the top from Muriel. And Quagliarella with his left foot, no less, just deftly puts that past the keeper into the far corner. Great goal there, Quag. Okay, so near the end of the game here, we just tried to get one to the back post where we were waiting at the back post with Fab Fabio, but it wasn't to be. I think we'll be calling time on this any second now, and we do, so it's a one-all draw there against Udinese. And we move straight out into the next game, uh, a team that obviously Quagliarella uh, honed his skills with, which is Napoli. Uh, actually from Napoli himself so this is a, a, a place where he wants to do well uh, but obviously has that problem of not wanting to, to beat a, a team that, that he really enjoys seeing win and uh, I don't know what the keeper was doing there but he did fly into us right now and we've got another penalty for Quagliera to put away and he goes bottom right yet again Napoli here managed to find some space in the box and that was too easy for Hamshik to score that one. We made it so easy there, defence went AWOL and Napoli get themselves back into this game. Lovely through ball there, Fabio just ahead of half time, can he do something with it? Cuts back inside, loses possession, he did try to cut back in. What can we do from the corner though? We're going to go near post where Fab's waiting. And he's done him. He's done him at the near post. What the hell was Rayner playing at there? All he needed to do was stand at his near post and catch that ball, but he came out and Fabio just nods it past him. Great finish there by Quagliera. Into the second half here, a bit of skill there as we're trying to get past the defender and he does knock us off the ball. That will result in a free kick here for, for Fabio. Alvarez lining it up, but we all know what's happening. This is going to be passed, the baton is going to be passed. Fabio lines one up. What can we do here? Go up, try and get this up over the wall from 33 yards. And it's a decent effort, but Rayner manages to get his gloves on it. Deflected into Fab's path there. Muriel. Lovely chip ball up over the top. Oh, what a goal there. Muriel, once again, with a lobbed through ball. Finds his man. And Quagliarella, what a finish on the half volley. Lovely chipped through ball. And that is a stunning finish there from Fabio. Lovely stuff. So 3-1 up, not quite cruising just yet, are trying to uh, make improvements further still though and it's Muriel on the turn this time, a lovely ball into him, holds the ball at well, manages to turn his defender and then slots it past her, well I don't know what Rain is doing there but he, he doesn't even attempt to get it. 82nd minute here we've got the ball out to Torreira who's got plenty of pace because he's just come off the bench. He's going to look, he's looking across, it's a sweaty goal, but Fabio's there to put it in and make it 5-1. Torreira, we've using the pace over the defenders, which have obviously gone up to, to try to attack and uh, didn't pay off. Muriel, again he's with the lob through ball and he's found somebody and oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an okay effort considering... 
but uh, I think we could have done better there. But 5-1, 5-1 guys, I think that is a very good result against Napoli. And certainly for Fabio, it's a great day. He's got himself four goals against Napoli. So let's head back out to the simmed games here. We're going to face off against Empoli. Uh, Fabio's sitting this one out. He's on the bench. We do win 3-1 and it's the first goal he scored under a simulated condition. So that adds to his tally even further. Next up we have got Atalanta away. Uh, once again, fitness is telling and Fabio's sitting it out. And we go 1-0 down. Next sim game we're up against Roma, who we played in the first game of the season. Uh, Quag has decided to grace us with his presence in this game, but it turns out one all, and he didn't manage to get himself on the score sheet. Facing off against Bologna at home, and you might notice that I've actually signed a couple of players, because during this first phase of career mode, I am still doing it as if I'm a manager, um, just to try to make it easier to, to keep things um, moving quite quickly. Uh, when you do instead of doing a player career mode, which is what we'll do with FIFA 20. But Craig got himself on the score sheet twice there against Cagliari, and it's a 3 0 win. As we go uh, to Palermo for this one, they're once again playing a 3 4 3 formation, and they beat us 2 1. Home game here against Pescara, a 2 0 victory. Fabio not getting himself on the score sheet, but Cassano come off the bench to get one. And it's the derby, Genoa versus Sampdoria. Uh, we are considered the away team here. Go down 2-1 to them. So let's head out to the next played game of the episode, and it is against Juventus. Now, Quagliera spent three years out at Juventus, I believe it was, uh, scored a a number of goals but spent quite a considerable amount of time of that injured as well unfortunately which did have obviously an impact on his career there but he did score some fantastic goals for Juve nonetheless. Fernandez here on the ball, can he find Fabio? He can, he's got in behind the back of the defender and he gets a shot away but it's not good enough to beat Buffon. Okay we've got the ball here, wide right, cuts across, Sheik Oh, that is a terrible miss. And that is why he doesn't play that often. Left footed. I mean, he was under pressure from the defender, but uh, he should have done better, really. Nice bit of play here by Juve. And Dybala has got in behind the back of the defenders. And he's managed to get a header away. And we are 1 0 down against Juve. It's a lovely ball there to Dybala at the back post and he just slots that ball home. Just before half time here, can we make an impression on the game? Quag, oh, unlucky there Fabio. It was a very decent effort from a very poor angle to be honest. Tried to finesse that into the top corner by the looks of it and it didn't quite come off. So into the second half here, Quag with a long distant shot and he nearly caught Booth on, on his heels. Nice save in the end though. Fernandes, back post, oh yes, one all, that is a lovely ball, and we've caught Juve in pretty much the same way they caught us, uh, players out of position, at the back post, somebody's ghosted in, and got themselves a goal, lovely chip up over the top, and that is a fantastic little volley at the back post, I love that, great stuff. Sandro here for Juve. Finds Pajanic, he's knocked it in, and again, Dybala has managed to get ahead of the defender and puts his head on it, and Juve go 2-1 up with only six minutes left to play. We have a mountain to climb now. Great goal by Dybala. Okay, time added on. Oh, I've hit the post. Fabio got himself in there, got around Buffon but the post came to the rescue of Juve and we lose 2-1. Next game up is against Inter here and it's a simmed one. And it finishes 0-0.
OK, so we get to face off against Fiorentina, having not played them the first time around due to the injury to uh, Quagliolera in the middle of the season, which saw us out for four weeks. Oh, really good effort there for Fiorentina. It's like a 1-0 up uh, with just 10 minutes on the clock. It's a super strike. Uh, just caught us napping at the back. Manages to get into the box. Lovely through ball there. Lovely. Top corner, top pins. Prayat here injured, but continuing on. It's through to Fabio. Can he find a man? He can. It's a lovely through ball that he's managed to find, but uh, overran the ball. Okay, header down. It's back into our path. Muriel, can he find his man? He slipped it through to Fabio. Oh, just overran it. Just couldn't lift it over the keeper, and that would have drawn us level coming into half time but can we do anything just before the half time whistle oh we've got the ball inside can we find a man we can that is us level and uh, the, I think we were in Fergie time there I don't know how many minutes the uh, that we've played over the same three but it feels like forever great turn and finish there that gets us level in this game into the second half, decent stop, but it's come back to a Fiorentina player and he nearly puts it away. Muriel finds Fabio, rolls it, finds De Juric, gets the ball back, battered it, absolutely battered it. There we go, Quag, another goal. And another potential victory dragging us back into a game. Battered it past the keeper. Boom. Okay, Fiorentina here down the wing. Managing to find plenty of space to operate within. Can oh, that is a great, that is a great intercept. Okay, so as we enter the last few moments of this game, let's see if we can pick up some possession and maybe make another chance. And we've got it through to Fabio. Fabio in on goal. Boom! Top corner, top wins. Finishes it off lovely for a 3-1 victory against Fiorentina. Caught the defender napping with that through ball to him and he just smashes it left-footed against the, uh, the inside of the post there. What a fabulous finish there. Great stuff from Fabio. And that resulted in a 3-1 victory as we move out to a sim game here against Sassalou. That finished up one all, and we've got uh, another game here against Grotano. 3-1, two for Fernandez, one for Pereira, and we are really kicking on now as we head out to the next played game against Torino. Lovely ball across there to uh, try to get one on the score sheet but it's a tame effort and it's straight into the gloves of the keeper Vigani here gets himself away down the left hand side cuts in knocks it across the box it was a weird cross but Quag there trying to get uh, turn an effort in can't quite get it onto target okay so as the game opens up into the second half here we get the ball through to Fabio can he convert I oh, just overrun it and knocks it into the side netting that is an unfortunate chance there, but it does prove that we do have the, the match of this team. Oh, that is a crunching tackle there by the Torino player, and he picks up a yellow card for that. Fabio clapping the referee, and I'm sure he will be looking to take charge of this free kick as well. 24 yards out, can he get it up and over the wall? No, he can't, it does go straight into the wall. So still nil-nil, we're getting right into the 
dying embers of this game. Great turn by Fabio. Oh, and he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar from just outside the box. Another chance here. Quagliar is in. Oh, it's a lovely dink shot there from Fabio. And he has managed to get us the victory. We've stolen this one away from Torino right at the end. This is absolutely fabulous stuff there from Fabio. Just lifts it up over the keeper as he tries to dive out at his feet. What a goal. Great stuff. And that one finished 1-0. One and that was really thanks to uh, Fabio's great contribution there at the end of the game. As we head out to a game here against Lazio. And we go down 2-0 against them. At home here against Kievo. Fabio gets himself on the score sheet and it's a 2-1 victory. Out to another played game here and we are going to face off against Udinese. Getting things underway straight away from the kickoff. Chasing that ball down. Putting immense pressure there on the attacker and we've managed to get the ball here to Muriel who's using his early bit of pace in this game bit scrappy in the midfield there but it's come out to Fernandez. he finds Fabio and he's finished it of course he has only four minutes on the clock and Fabio has managed to get us 1-0 up against Udinese it was a bit of a scrappy one, but a lovely ball through there to Fabio from Fernandez, and he slots it into the top left-hand corner. Fabio here on the edge of the box, cuts back inside, finding himself some space, gets the shot away, but it just gets parried away by the goalkeeper. We've managed to keep things alive, though. Back into the box, ahead of there, but it's uh, nothing going, and it goes out to the goalkeeper. Udinese here just ahead of half time gets the shot away and that is a millimetres away there by Theroux lovely through ball here to Muriel holds the play up to Fabio but it's deflected behind for a corner Udinese there with another effort but it's blazed up over the top Muriel here starting to look rather tired into the corner Knocks it on into the box. Great header. And it can be from only one man. Fabio Quagliarella. That is a fantastic header. We had two players there actually attacking the defender. So one of them was bound to get the result over him. Play it into the box. Two on one. Fabio comes out the winner. So it's 2-0 at the moment, but we've managed to gift Udinese a great effort there. Uh, keeper's done well, though, to keep that one out. Okay, and then for some reason, I've had to use the replay system here because my uh, saving feature didn't quite work. And uh, as you can see, keeper went up for a corner, didn't quite work out, and we managed to steal a goal at the end there uh, from under their noses as we head out to the next game against Napoli at home stole that away from him inside to Quag oh so close unlucky there Fabio that was a very decent effort and it was a snapshot effort at that Napoli in can they find a man edge of the box oh so close as well. Okay, got the ball out on the wide. Oh, and they've managed to steal one. Great header. It, well, they always come from headers when I can see goals in FIFA 17. It's crosses, headers. They seem to be the way that the AI managed to get in behind me in FIFA 17. So we're 1-0 down against Napoli and suddenly we're chasing this game. But as we know, there's one man we can rely on to try to get us back into this. But it's actually Fernandez this time around who manages to slot one home just around the penalty spot. There's a lovely worked uh, manoeuvre just here. 
and uh, Fabio drags the defender away actually uh, and opens up the space for, Nan for Fernandez to score that one. Lovely through ball there. Fabio Zin draws the keeper out, slots it home. 2 1 up with 57 minutes on the clock, and it's a well deserved goal having put a lot of pressure on Napoli in the last few minutes. Lovely worked through ball there, and Fabio just waited for the keeper and slides it past him. Lovely weight of a finish on that. Okay, as we can see in the top left, Fabio's managed to pick himself up a knock, which is never good news. And uh, that was a really poor effort there from uh, from the Napoli player. But we are having to make a substitution here, and Fabio's going off the pitch. Cassano's come on in his place. Oh, 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 oh. What a piece of play there! Firstly by Cassano with that back heel. That was an immense back heel. Let's just watch this again. The, the weight on that back heel is absolutely perfect. And first timer from about 20 yards out absolutely screams it into the top corner. Keeper stood no chance. So that's it for this season. And as we can see, our man Fabio Quagliarella has scored 18 goals in his first season with Sampdoria in FIFA 17. However, because of his age, he is 34, that does mean that we've seen some decline. We have managed to stave off some of that with the use of training, but we're really training some of the attributes that he was poor at in the first place. So his overall hasn't actually changed. We've managed, managed to maintain a 79 rating, which is fantastic. But as we'll see now with this uh, changeover in the card, we've lost some pace, which is inevitable because you can't train those elements. We've lost some physicality, but his defending rating has gone up exceptionally. So, I do hope you've enjoyed this first episode of The Road to Retirement. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel because it is brand new.